So good morning, it's Jamie. This is Healthy Bones and Balance. And we're gonna have the pleasure of moving together. Let's, um, well, let's just flick our fingers. Let's start with movement where we might least expect it. Really flick, start to feel that energy in your hands. Energy meaning, you know, the muscles are working. They're, they're firm. And when you press your hand like this, you're pressing the two hands against each other and yet, and allowing that stretch right through the body of the palm and maybe on the wrist as you let your, you can adjust that and other hand. So if your hands are soft, then, you know, you might stretch your fingers, but you're wanting to get the whole palm to so engage it. We mean activate the muscles, press against the uh, upper hand. This is our principles for exercise in all our movements. Interlace the fingers loosely and roly poly the hands. Just try to get every joint waked up, ready to participate and move. So now find yourself your, your chair or a, it's a, a balance aid you need now. Could be the wall, could be the chair back. And we're gonna do a moving one leg balance. So I'm lifting the right knee and then I'm going to take it out to the side. Lift, touch down. You don't have to touch down, but you could. And of course the lift could be slighter. And then as you're feeling steady with your balance, you might even uh, lift the hand above the chair. So it's forward and out. And we can sort of practice the, um, our light versions of exercise later. So I'm doing like a light bicep curl with my hand and a um, marionette as I go out. So don't worry if I'm changing the order, but it's essentially up and, and to the side. So up with the bicep out to the side, one more, up with the bicep, out to the side. And tap that quad. And uh, switch sides or, or the side where your chair is. So left leg, same thing. Easy lift and out to the side, just leg first. Easy lift, out to the side. Easy up, out to the side. Try to keep your torso pretty steady. That's a little core work, holding it against the moving weight of the leg. And you could add a bicep curl and a uh, marionette arm. Lifting the elbow so that the elbow and wrist are parallel. Any kind of movement. You could do hand flicks, finger flicks. And done, almost done. <laughs> And now we're going to uh, have a taste of what's to come with a um, so facing the chair and want to do it so you can see it. Um, <clears throat> a bicep curl, pressing down the knee and pressing the knee back. So it gets a little up and back, up and back, up, press the knee and the foot goes with it, press the knee. Squeeze. This is very much like an exercise, <laughs> but we're just doing a few of them. Left leg, knee up, press. Knee up, press. Five, four, three, two, and one. And step wide and just release your hips, release the butt muscles. And we often do a cat cow, which is like a curling over on the exhale, inhaling, arching the back a little bit. And so let's do a small one. And as I started doing this to, uh, you know, get my little plan in order, I thought, wait a minute, this used to be a dance. I forget what one. <laughs> Anyone can put it in the chat if you remember what it is. So it's exhale. Inhale, exhale, 
inhale lift. You can slow it down too if you want to really feel it more deeply. In, excuse me, exhale. Inhale, a chef lifts. Exhale, everything curls together. Belly goes into the spine with a big squeeze. So we've got an entry. The shrug, maybe. I think that. Good work. Collective. Uh, ask a lot of people and get it. Someone's got the answer. And now at your chair, wide legs. And reach up with the right arm and get a side stretch in the, from the wide legs. Keep the legs straight. You can hold on to a chair for balance. Could be at the side. And inhale up and down. Left arm up. Reach up first. Really lengthen. Press down the left heel as just as much as the left finger stretch up. And feel that opening. We're waking up the all the inner wrappings of the organs inside the skin. Second one to each side, called the fascia. A lot of our stiffness isn't literally in the muscles, it's in the wrapping. And that's one of the uh, shoulder rolls, one of the pleasures of movement, benefits of movement, and reverse. I'm bending my knees as I rotate the shoulders. And now we'll go to upper back, wake up. So I'm robot arms, I'll show you from the front first. And then it's just like the top half, uh, well, lift, lift, lift up. So your hips st really stay in line, belly's firm, and your shoulder blades are going together and down the back and lifting up a stretch in the front and an arch in the back and release. And again, robot arms and lift. Try to take your lower ribs down towards the waist to isolate that stretch in the upper back, tuck your chin back and release. Shoulders up to the ears and drop. Up to the ears and drop. Up to the ears and drop. So now this could be seated or standing, just a little upper body twist. Bend your knees, that's important. And you wanna keep your hips firm. They're active, the hips are not turning. It's just from the waist up. And you can go slowly and you can go easily. As you get those muscles warmed up, you can have a little rebound as you press toward the back and you'll feel it rebound. Five. Four, three, two, one. And now I am warm. And I hope you are too. Take a seat. Um, actually, we could put our leg weights on while we're seated. Not everyone uses leg weights and certainly not people are new to the class. But um, as with any exercise, you get your body gets used to it and gets strong enough to do it without building more muscle or bone. So we always wanna find the edge where the movement makes our body say, hmm, I gotta do, <laughs> I gotta build a little more muscle mass, bone mass to get this done. So this is stand up, sit down, just turn to the side. And we're gonna do just that for 30 seconds. You wanna actually sit down on your chair. And um, unfortunately you'll hear my chair more than I'd like, but... Um, so you don't need to look at the screen. You'll hear me when I say stop and it's 30 seconds and you're gonna keep your own count of how many times you go up and down. So it's not a squat at the chair, it's actually a full sit. And you can use press off if it's more challenging. You can um, have your arms forward, gives you a little more oomph. You can cross your arms and, uh, and we'll do our best, our own personal best for 30 seconds. Ready and begin. Thank <laughs> you. 
And that's 30. So just take a moment to remember, hold on to your number so that you'll see you can track it over time. Um, and now we'll stand for ham curls, working that big muscle, the back of our thighs. Let's just roll up on the toes for a moment, roll up and back, wake up those feet and so shifting the weight to the left leg, bend. And first time, keep your hand on your right thigh so you'll know as it lifts that it's staying parallel to the other thigh. Foot is flexed, close curl back and return. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You take your belly into the spine as you go up. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Switching to the left leg. Stand on the right, lift. It's just parallel, lower leg parallel to the floor. Thighs are even. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Switching back to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Har. Make, create your resistance. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Left side. 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great. We've done two sets of 12. In any given time, you might be uh, doing fewer repetitions. You might alternate them. And let's stretch those hamstrings as we go back in a L shape. Bend the knees first, rest your wrists on the top of your chair and lift your belly up away from the floor and take the thighs back uh, to the point where you feel your hamstring stretch is adequate. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> And bend the knees. And uh, we're going to find our weights for bicep curl. This could be seated or standing. I think I'll stand up right now. So let the weights just kind of pull down at our shoulders Check our alignment, abdomen firm, belly's firm, knees soft, that means they're not locked. They're not complete, they're not bent, but they're soft. And shoulder blades are moving down the back. Inhale fully and then bend at the elbow, turn the palms up and take the weights up. The upper arms don't move, stays you can feel the edge of your shirt. And two, inhale, exhale, up, inhale, down. Exhale, up, inhale, down. Five, inhale, six, Inhale, seven, inhale, eight, inhale, nine, 10, 11, and 
12. Inhale down. So that's the first set. Um, <clears throat> breathe and second set, palms open. Uno, inhale, dos, inhale. Since, no, since you can't be heard, since you're on mute, you can really just yell out those numbers. It's great for breathing. You know you're exhaling when you count cuatro or the count of your choice. Cinco, inhale, seis, inhale, siete, inhale. Try not to use momentum, ocho, inhale. Going slow is more work for our muscles. Nueve. Inhale. Diez. Inhale. Two more. Once. Slow down. And doce. That's 12. And let the weights hang in your hands. Put them down. And gently shake the hands out. Roll the fingers, see what feels best. Scratch, like scratching a board ahead of you. Flick one finger after another. And pick up a little bit, pick up, pick up, pick up. And shuffle, shuffle the cards. <laughs> and Rub the hands together, a little more roly-poly, press out, palms out, and back four. Um, well, that was, I'll put the weights down and out of, and we're gonna be standing for back leg raise. Let's roll the feet again, going up on the toes, maybe balance and slowly down. Again, up on the toes, ball of the foot, belly in, reach tall, <laughs> have your chair, four, and back, lifting the toes. So back leg raise is, I'm gonna right side. Uh, you can slide the foot back, keeping the toe down, and just squeeze your buttock and return. That would be the, uh, you know, where you're new, or if you're not feeling that strong, it can be, this is how you get strong by doing what you can safely do. If you've been doing it for a while, you're gonna lift that leg up and really feel a firm hamstring muscle and gluteus maximus. And we'll do uh, um, two sets of 12. Inhale, so right leg goes lift, inhale. Two, lift, inhale. It's at that lift, whether you, you just say squeeze, two, three, four, five. Keep your chest high, six, seven. Soft bend in the standing leg, nine, 10, 11, and 12 and slowly return. A little bend one knee, then the other. Bend over, bent knees, lifting the hip, sitting bones, and up. Second set. Un. Inhale. Deux. Trois. Quatre. Cinq. Six. Set. Wheat. Stand tall. Neuf. Dies. Ons. And hold dues. Dues, dues. Power squeeze. And return. Having good, strong glute muscles and hamstrings is great for walking. Just for daily walking. It's where it's an exaggeration, a more effortful version of of a step. Left leg, inhale, slide back and lift for one, 
two, three, lift, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. A little bit of a stretch out, bend one knee and the other, swings your, moves your hips around, and second set. 12, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, and one, hold, 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 and return. And bend one knee, then the other, and then walk out, bend both knees, lift those sit bones, and you should get the stretch right where you've been working. And bend the knees, hands on the knees, and come slowly up. We'll come to a seat for leg extension. And sometimes if we have little rubber balls, you can use them just to add a little hand squeeze. And arms down at the side, inhale and straighten the right leg as uh, lifting it towards parallel with the left knee it may not be there. You may just be on the floor here for two. Uh, you may just have that foot extended. I don't mean just, you could live in it, leave it an inch off the floor and you're getting action. I'm trying to get all this in here. So it's knee extension. It's great for our knees, for all the muscles supporting our knees as well as strength building, as you as you feel. You recognize that, I'm sure. Inhale, one, point and flex. Two, point, flex. <laughs> Three, point, flex. Try to keep the torso straight. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, twelve, eleven, <laughs> and twelve. You can, if you have balls or fists, just up. Your muscles up the front of your thigh feels great. They've been working and they are not done yet. Second set, inhale, Italiano, uno, and circle the ankle, due, inhale, tre, inhale, cuatro, inhale, cinque, sei, sette, otto, Nove, dieci, undici, dodici, and done. That tap feels essential to me after that. <laughs> Let's put our knees wide for a moment and hinge forward, straight back, elbows on the thighs, just above the knee. And you could uh, come down a little more, put your hands on your ankles or floor if that's available, keeping the knees out or stay right here. Noticing your breath moving. And come up, knees together, left leg. 
inhale, <clears throat> excuse me, inhale, and then extend out one. This is point and flex. Two, point flex, inhale. Three, point flex, inhale. Four, inhale. Five, six, reach for the heel. Seven. Nine, 11, and 12. First set done. Maybe squeeze another ball and ready for second set. Straight spine, inhale, uh, Anna, Greek. Dio, tria, tessera, pende, exi, epta, octo, enea, teca, endeca, Lodica. Polikala, polikala. The extent of my remembered Greek. I can do the count and I can say, very good, very good. Polikala. And Kalimera, good morning. So again, hinging forward, wide legs. Feel that nice stretch. And Come up and take your, bring your, we're gonna stay seated, but we'll use our weights for overhead press. So taking the weights out, I've already got an exercise right here. And you may just go up a little bit or you can press your arms close to straight and coming back. That was a bonus. Inhale, one, two, you can alternate. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and down, and rest the weights. Lift your shoulders up to the ears, let them melt down. Up and melt down. Reach back in position. Also, you, I mean, if it feels better, you could do it with your elbows forward. And um, pause for a second. <laughs> Let's rest more talking. Um, take that belly in. That's a, a firming your abdomen, firming your core. And so the, um, it distributes the work of the exercise more thoroughly throughout your body. So we're actually, we're pressing our feet lightly into the floor. So the legs aren't just hanging out there, taking the belly in, taking the navel in and up towards the inner, <laughs> towards the inner spine, and uh, particularly on the exhale. So inhale, and then take that belly in and up for one, inhale, and again, two, inhale, three, inhale. Press the feet, and take the belly in as you push up for four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and slowly down. Put those weights down. Always be thoughtful when you're moving with your weights because you want to stay in alignment so you're using the joint safely. And one of our goals in doing this repetitive exercise is to understand more the connections, where we're feeling the work in a given exercise and how can we distribute that more throughout the body, get the whole team working on the same, I mean, the, the team of our body parts uh, working with, um, with harmony and strength. Let's stand and we're gonna do squats. If you have a wall, you could uh, lean your butt against the wall, walk the feet out. Knees are right over the ankles, that's important. And hands out. And you can stay here. If you don't have a wall, you can be doing this at a chair with your hands on the chair. The angle of your body is a little different, but it, and come up. My wall's not very slidey, so it's <laughs> so stay down. And the legs are not just hanging out, they're almost as if they were, the thighs are working and the feet as if, imagine they were trying to move towards each other. Feel how that activates the lower legs and stand up. And you might uh, switch or just here's to demonstrate the, um... so the knees are pointing towards my toes and I have a straight back. And maybe I can raise my hands forward and come to stand and again. So I'm taking my butt way back in both cases. So the knees are over the ankle, back is safe and press to come up. Woo. Feel the fire. And hmm, we're gonna do a side leg raise from here. So standing. My, actually, I'm just facing forward. I'm gonna keep moving. Inhale up, standing on the left, lift the right, and turn the toe in. So it's sort of like a uh, well internal rotation, and then squeeze back. And the foot is flexed. Two. Inhale. Three. Hover out there as you reach with both heels. Inhale. Four. Reach, inhale, five, reach, inhale, six, inhale, seven, inhale, eight, inhale. Feel like you're lifting something heavy, heavier than your weight, even with <laughs> that right ankle. Nine, inhale, 10, inhale, 11, inhale, and 12, inhale. And bend one knee, then the other. Tap all around sides. Tap arms. Second set, right side. Um, running out of January. Inhale, February, slow squeeze, inhale. Imagine you have a great exercise ball between your hands, squeeze out the air. March, or was that February? Yeah, April, squeeze. May, June, squeeze. July, squeeze. Keep that toe turned in for August, September, October, November, and December. 
and just bend your knees, keeping your heels on the floor and can getting a calf stretch while you're uh, kind of, it's, uh, I can sort of hang out here. It's my, the, the tightness of my calves holds me. It won't be the same for everybody. And bending over again at your chair or you can walk your hands down and breathe. Bend the knees and press. Left leg, side leg raise. Lift the left foot and turn the toe in and lift for one. Inhale, two, inhale, three, inhale, four, inhale, five, inhale, six, inhale, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And in, roll the feet one after the other. We'll have more stretch after we finish the set. Second set, uno, inhale, dos, inhale, tres, inhale, cuatro, inhale, Cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce. Reach with both heels, reach and slowly back. Woo. And Let's take a seat for, uh, and take off our weights, leg weights. That's good news. And um, <laughs> we'll do a tricep. Take up one weight for triceps. So the back of the arm could be seated or standing. I kind of alternate. So I'm trying to lift my elbow higher. So the, my, I can feel my knuckles are touching my front hip bone and I'm rolling that shoulder back. So I'm really opening up in the front and tucking that shoulder blade under is gonna be a secure place as I inhale and extend my arm back and return. Let's remind her the upper arm stays in place and the lower arm straightens out, moves through space. Three, inhale, four, inhale, five, inhale, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, really push it back, 11, and 12. Whew. Take that hand, circle the shoulder, a little bent elbow, and second set. <sighs> Getting stronger. Inhale, full powerful breath, and then use it with uh, the deux, très. Well, that would be trois, quatre. <laughs> Think six, huit. Who's that set? Set. <laughs> Neuf, dix, onze, <laughs> douze, <laughs> muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> Is 
sounded like our old fashioned French teachers. And let's move around to do the left arm. I feel comfortable dropping my left knee a little bit. It's just a, an option. So take a look, you've got the screen, take a look where your elbow is. Uh, maybe it could be a little higher. Get up, maybe take the weight to your hip point, the front hip point. Um, it just makes it a little more challenging the higher it is. So, but as long as you're doing it in form where you're getting a good workout, it's uh, different for everybody. Inhale and extend. Two. Three, inhale, four, inhale, five, press six. Try to lift and straighten. Eight, ten, eleven, and twelve. Oof. I try to change around the order in which we do the um, different exercises each time because the, the arms get tired and if triceps always at the end, it's gonna be a little, um, uh, we don't have as much oomph to put into it. So we try to be fair, roll that shoulder back. Anna, inhale, Vio, inhale. Tria, inhale. Tessera, inhale. Pende, exi, epta, octo, enea, deca, endeca, dodeca, and that's 12 in any language. Roll, let's hunch over, feels good. Stretch the back and then shoulders back, sternum up. Uh, nice arch in the lower back. And hmm. We will, let's see, hmm. marionette arms. We've done it free form, but now we'll do it uh, with weights. Let me see, let's, let's, let's not do that right now. Try to inter, intersperse. We're gonna do uh, a few jumping jacks, seated variety. So I'm taking one leg out to the side and the other holding onto the chair maybe to Keep my back steady and I'm just tapping with my toe. Tap, tap, tap. And now maybe I feel enough to take an arm out to the side. Maybe two arms and tap. So each time we lift that knee in this position, the belly kicks in, Ab abs, core, power center. You can keep you can, um, let me see. and if you feel like it, we can take lean back with a straight back and lift both knees at once. You can do it without arms first or stay without arms or add 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then come back just to do the slow version. Tap, tap. It isn't slow, it's slower than the other one. And pause. Just feel your own vibration.
Take the right ear to the right shoulder. You might take the right hand up, pull it a little more, left shoulder drops down. Just wanna maximize gentle but firm stretch the left side of the neck and float up. Chin down, but the back of the neck is long and tall. Just taking the chin way down. Really maximize our double chins, whatever we can get out there. And <laughs> level and left ear to left shoulder. Let it go with gravity. And add a little um, pressing the head and the raised hand against each other. That kind of triggers the muscles that they can let go a little more. There. And drop the right shoulder down, down, down. And inhale. Now we're going to pick up the hand weights one more time for seated row. So hands be, well, they begin at the hips and then reach long and a little bit forward. So your, your torso hinges forward, straight back, hinging at the hip creases. Inhale, and then the exercise is to lift up with straight, with the uh, elbows lifting up. Inhale forward, so the arms kind of move at a diagonal or the weights move at a diagonal too. Three, we'll do one set of 12. So make it count. Four, belly in at the top. All the way up. Six, oh, that would be five. Six. And as you go up, take your shoulder blades together, belly in, whole body. Eight. Ten, eleven, and then super slow, do twelve. Slow, 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 slow. Hold, two, three, belly in and slowly down, all the way, weight to the floor. And, uh, okay. And let your shoulders, the whole, feel your shoulder blades moving around on the back as you do this. And bend the elbows and just feel every part of your shoulder arm connection and then forward. And while we're here, we'll do a, a quad stretch. So I'm sitting. With two legs at 90 degrees, back toes are pressing down, back knees pressing down, and I'm going to lean back. Everybody's has a different tightness in their quadriceps, these big front thigh muscles. So you're just thinking, don't even need to look at the screen once you have the basic alignment, just feel. Can I go a little further? And when I feel like, well, that's far enough, just stay right there in that spot. Keep pressing the toes down, reaching with the knee and let the muscles get used to that level of stretch. And then you might, they might release a little more and you can come back a little more. Or you may stay right there or say, no, I need to be uh, a little less intense. I'm getting a good stretch right here. So, and now pivot around for the other side. And This could feel delicious, may not to everybody. 
but uh, taking those four great big muscles that have been working and allowing them to just stretch. They're not passive though, That's their, they're still engaged. We're stretching the engaged muscle. That's what makes it safe by pressing in to the toes, reaching with the knee. Inhale and come up. Reach up at the right arm and bend back. So your palm is touching for a tricep stretch. Palm is touching the back. And then with the left hand, reach up, give a little push to the elbow back further and plug it in too. Press it down. So it's a really, it's not a strain on the shoulder muscle once it's really plugged in. Get the stretch where you want it. And reach up and switch arms. And reach up and arms float down. We'll stand up for our one leg balance practice. We've had some balancing all throughout, but this is, we'll do a timed, do a 45 second balance and stand with the left or either one, and then just lift up the right and then place it where it can go. Try to, don't, don't use your hands to try to squeeze it up. You might even be on the tip of your sneaker there and lifting your standing hip up so it doesn't sag, lift up and begin. Definitely look away from your screen. This is turning your concentration inward. Feel what the standing foot is doing. You wanna press evenly under the big toe mound and the heel and the outer edge. Take the belly in and lose it and coming back. Coming back is the magic moment. Maximize your length, your vertical, press down, reach up with the top of the head, boom. Almost 50 seconds. Second side, inhale, you can bend your arm, arm, but here you could also stay sort of in the ham curl kind of pose. It's whatever puts you on one foot and begin. Think about bringing your energy to the midline, that visible line of absolute equilibrium. Balances in the mind and the body. When I look at the clock, I <laughs> that's 49 again. So just as well, got a couple more seconds. Good work. Good work, everybody. Interlace the fingers, reach up and a little wiggle as you bend one knee, get a little side stretch on that side and out. Hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, press the hands away from you. And right arm across. Oh, and just let the arms struggle. They're pressing against each other. And put your attention in the back of your right shoulder joint. And release. 
and arm. press. Well, one needs every second to build our strength and bones and flexibility and balance. So we've pretty much done it this time. Moment of um, of just take, taking in what's happening in our body, what we're feeling. Practicing our interoception, understanding our body from the inside. 